Let me show you how to create this YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. Start by creating a new file, size 1920 by 1080 pixels. Drag your photo to Photoshop. You can download this image from the description below. Scale it while holding the shift button. When you finish press enter. Now let's remove its background by going to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. As you can see, the background is removed. Go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Choose this yellow color. Now let's add these lines. You can download them from the link in the description. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, choose Release. Again go to Object and choose on Group. Let's select the text and delete it. Now select these lines and press Ctrl C to copy. Go to Photoshop and press Ctrl V to paste them. Scale them while holding the Shift button. When you finish press enter. Go to layer style and choose color overlay. Let's choose this dark yellow color. Choose the image layer and go to layer style and choose stroke. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Choose the type tool and write your text. I chose Montserrat font. Now let's put a rectangle under that text layer. Go to tools and choose the rectangle tool. Choose no stroke color, and for the fill color choose white. Select the rectangle and text layer and center them horizontally and vertically. Right click here and choose convert to smart object. Go to layer style and choose drop shadow. Follow these settings. Now go to Layer, Smart Objects, New Smart Object via Copy. Double click on this Smart Object. Choose the Rectangle Layer. Choose the Path Selection Tool and let's change the Rectangle Color. Choose the Type Tool and change the Text Color to Y. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Shift and Alt button. Select the rectangle and text layer and center them horizontally and vertically. Press Ctrl S to save it, and go back to the original file. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Shift button. Put this layer on top. Press Ctrl T and rotate it. Press Ctrl T and rotate it.
Now go to layer, smart objects, new smart object via copy. Double click on this smart object. Let's change the rectangle color as we did before. Choose the type tool and change the text. Go to image, canvas size. Let's make the width bigger. Choose the move tool. Press Ctrl T and scale the rectangle while holding Alt button. Press Ctrl S to save it, and go back to the original file. Let's put the image layer on top. Right click and choose this text layer. Press Ctrl T and rotate it. Select these layers while holding the shift button and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Double click on this smart object. Choose the text layer. Go to layer style and choose outer glow. Follow these settings. Press Ctrl S to save it, and go back to the original file. Let's rename the layers. Choose the Pen tool. Right click and choose Make Selection. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Choose a dark red color and then press OK. Put this layer behind the text layer. Choose the Move tool and adjust it accordingly. Choose the text folder. Press Ctrl T and rotate it. Now let's add a sparkle light on the finger. You can find these files in the description below. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, Choose Release. Again go to Object and choose on Group. Do it one more time. Let's choose this sparkle, press Ctrl C to copy. Press Ctrl V to paste it. Change the blending mode to lighten. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Shift and Alt button. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Choose the image layer. Go to Adjustment layer and choose Hue Saturation. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Set the saturation to 100. Change the blending mode to Color Burn. Reduce the fill. Duplicate this adjustment layer. Change the blending mode to Color Dodge. Reduce the fill. Select these layers while holding the Shift button and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Now
Now choose the lines layer. Go to Filter, Blur, choose Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 7 and then press OK. Go to File, Export, choose Save for Web. Follow these settings. Press Save. That's it, hope you liked it. Leave a comment below and I will try to answer all of your comments.